or good morning should I say actually. Um, I'm running quite a bit of a cold. I don't know if you can hear from my voice but I'm quite poorly. I've got the whole sinus thing going on, the block nose, you know, all of that goodness. So the first thing I like to do when I'm ill is grab myself some water and chop up some lemons and put that in there. Um, I find that when I am ill, I tend to try and eat cleaner than I do when I'm not ill. Um, try and flush out all that rubbish from my system and just replace it with as many nutrients as possible. Um, which is probably what I should be doing every day. Um, which is probably why I got myself into the cold because I haven't been eating as clean as I could be. So today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video because I thought it'd be good to show you guys what I do eat when I am ill instead of what I'm picking out on a Sunday. <laughs> Okay, so I just made my lemon and lime water, infused water. No kind of rocket science, nothing original. I just think it's really good to drink water throughout the day. So that's something that I definitely do do. And I'll probably fill up again in the afternoon. So I have about two litres of water, hopefully three if you count in that kind of teas in between that. Now what I'm going to have for brunch, because it's a little bit late, it's 11 o'clock, um, I'm going to have a zucchini, um, or in English, courgette, cream of courgette soup. Um, so that's just made with courgettes, parmesan oil, uh, garlic, it's very natural and I'm going to use raw courgettes. I've not tried with raw courgettes before, but I know the Vitamix kind of blade goes so fast you can put raw ingredients in it. So I'm going to give it a go, see how it turns out. So, I've got me three courgettes. I'm just going to cut these bits on the end off the tips off. Um, so now I've just got a clean courgette. I've washed them already, so don't be worried. Um, and then I'm just going to chop it again to make it easier to process. And I'm going to put that in my Vitamix. So you don't need a Vitamix. They're very expensive. Um, but I don't know if you'll be able to do it with raw courgettes and it will heat up. So if you don't have a Vitamix, you might have to cook your courgettes first. I'm not sure. Then I'm going to add a spoonful of bouillon. So that's just vegetable stock, it'll make it have more flavour, it's got salt in there, it's got a load of nutrients in there. This is also great if you're ill, which I will have as well, in a mug with water, it's amazing. The next thing you'll need is a parmesan and a grater, and I'm just going to grate as much parmesan as I possibly can in there, and that just makes it really creamy. And if you want, you can add cream, um, if you're not drinking dairy, you could skip this all together and use kind of like soya milk, uh, almond milk. But I'm not sure how it would taste because I haven't tried it with it. Now I'm just going to chop up some garlic cloves and add them in there. Then last but not least, I've got basil and I've got oregano. These both get sprinkled in. One thing I forgot to mention is you want to add a bit of olive oil on top as well, just a drizzle. And that will help it all kind of run smoother together. Add the lid. And I'm going to turn it on for about five minutes. It's going to be very noisy so I won't be able to talk over it so I'm going to explain now. What I do is I just pulse it slowly from one to ten and leave it there for three to five minutes. Once you start seeing kind of smoke, uh, smoke the right word, like condensation, heat basically, you know it's been heated up, you know it's ready to eat. Okay, so this should be done and you can tell by if there's smoke coming out. Yep, I don't know if you see that, but there's steam. So that's hot. Um, guess I'll just serve it up. And wow, look how green that is. This would be so good on Halloween, imagine. I used about half of what was there, just because I don't want to eat too much. I don't want to feel sick. Um, and I can have the rest either tomorrow for breakfast or later on as a snack. Um, now, how I like to serve it. So I always sprinkle some parmesan and a bit of uh, pepper or a bit of chilli for flavour to taste. Now, if someone likes that soup extra creamy, you could do a little dollop of cream on top as well, which is always nice, or feta cheese. Um, but yeah... This is what my soup looks like. It's very green, uh, very vibrant, um, reminds me a bit of Shrek. So it could be a great one for Halloween if you're not into clean eating and you just think it looks funny. But I think it tastes delicious, so let's give it a taste test. 
Mmm. The retaste the garlic, the basil, the oregano, and it'd be great as a pasta sauce too. The cream of courgette kind of sauce is also very yummy with spaghetti, um, and you'd add more parmesan in there. Delicious. So I'm going to go eat this, and then I'll catch up with you at lunchtime. So I was literally just about to make lunch, and the door, like, knocked all rang, and I was like, who's ringing the door on the weekend? We don't get posts on the weekend, and I didn't invite anyone over. And there's my carpet! My carpet has finally come. I ordered it off Amazon. And it was literally like, <laughs> it's bigger than me. So, oh my god, I cannot wait. I'm gonna put it down now. Ah, and we'll see what it looks like. Oh my god, this is so heavy though. <laughs> Let me put you down somewhere. All right, let's try and unpackage this, roll it out, move the sofa, and put it under. It's gonna be a hard job. Oh my god, I'm actually sweating. Putting a carpet down, it's so hard when you've got to lift the sofa up with one hand and sneak it under there with the other hand. Oh my god, that literally has taken me like a good 20 minutes. That was a workout. But that's how it looks now and I love it. And I think now it's time to have lunch in my new little lounge. I apologise if there's a ton of background noise, but it's so hot in the apartment I just had to open a window. So, that's why you can hear lorries passing. But, I'm going to make a prawn salad, I think, because I'm starving and I, I'm just feeling really ill. So, I kind of want something that's going to be refreshing. I don't want another soup. I just want something nice and cold because I'm running a temperature. And I think this will be something that's very tasty, very yummy. Something that I'd have even if I wasn't ill. So, let's get started. So I'm just taking my favourite knife because it is literally huge, this thing cuts through anything. Um, and I'm going to open up my salad, wash it, prep it, do all that that everyone else does when they make a salad. Nothing rocket science. Alright, so I'm just going to cut a chunk off it. And then I'm going to slice that. Again, if you made a salad before, this definitely isn't any rocket science. Um, but I'm showing you what I've eaten a day, and this is something that I regularly eat. All right, taking about that much cucumber, and the rest I'll probably put in my water tonight. Again, always wash what you eat. You don't want to be eating all those pesticides. All right, then I like to get a medley of tomatoes because I like to have a mixture of the red ones, the yellow ones, the green ones, the orange ones just because it gets more flavour, more texture and green tomatoes are the best tomatoes. If you haven't tried them you don't know what you're missing out on. Now why can't I open this? There. I feel like I'm repeating myself but I'm gonna wash it and I take about a handful so it's just got a mixture of different colours wash it, chop it, and you know what, I want some more tomatoes so I'm just going to add some more. So I just grab another little handful, wash, chop it up and add it in. Healthy eating really can be that easy. Right, so first thing I do is add some olive oil to my pan. Now you may notice that every dish I do does have olive oil. I'm, I'm Italian, I was brought up loving oil, not hating it. So if you prefer to use a low calorie option, I don't know, a spray, um, rapid seed oil, there's many types of oils, coconut oil is a great one, then you do you, cook how you prefer to cook. I personally love the flavour of olive oil, I think extra virgin oil is the best oil you should be using, aside from coconut oil. So that's just my opinions on oil, but you don't have to agree with them. So I'm going to let that cook, and while that's cooking, I'm going to go and get the prawns. Alright, so once your olive oil has heated up, you don't need to be spitting, you don't need to be really hot because you're only reheating the prawns, you're not cooking them again. So, just add your prawns. 
you know how much is a good portion for you so I'm not going to go into portion sizes I always do my portions by eye I don't measure things because you should know how much how hungry you are or how hungry you're not so I just go looking yeah that looks like about right for now so that's all I'll use uh, now I'm just going to chop a lemon in half and then I'm going to use the tiniest bit of it on the prawns, that's for a little bit of sourness. The rest of it is all gonna go in my salad dressing. Then I want a tiny bit of honey on the prawns. Again, just a tiny bit, and this is wildflower honey. You can use whatever honey you want. Then what I love to put on top is chili, and I use a mixture of fresh chilies and chili powder, because they have different tastes. Just because chili powder tends to have a mix of cayenne, paprika, uh, kind of peppery flavoured chilies, whilst crushed chilies, the actual, it's just the flakes. So it's just, it tends to have more spice than flavour to it. I'm going to stir that around, let it soak in the flavour. So while that's cooking in the background, it will take literally maybe a minute because I've put it on quite a low heat, let it simmer and absorb the flavour. You don't want to do it too long, be very careful because it becomes tough and chewy. And it's not, overdone prawns are really not nice. So now I'm just going to dress my salad, I'm going to put a drizzle of olive oil, same fork again, put lemon, and I'm literally going to do the whole lemon, so both halves. Try and get as much lemon as you can, don't want any waste, and the more lemony the tastier anyway. I'm going to add more chilli powder for flavour. Again, if you don't like spicy food, don't add chilli powder. With salads you add what you want and you don't add what you don't like. So if you don't like tomatoes, don't add tomatoes. If you don't like chilli, don't add chilli. All up to you, which is what's so great about salads. Then salt. I've got quite a salty tooth, so a lot of people tell me I add too much salt. But I like my salt. Pepper. Again, a little bit to taste. And the final touch before we add our prawns, a bit of balsamic vinegar and then I'm going to stir it in then I'm going to add the prawns. So you want all the juices from the prawns that you're cooking with, that lemon, that honey, you want that in your salad. So don't waste it, you know, get that in there. And that is lunch made. So this is something, a salad is something that I have on a daily basis because you could just chuck anything in the fridge in there. Um, so it's great for leftovers. Um, and yeah, it tastes delicious. So I'm going to dig into this. Um, it smells amazing. Um, yeah, so I can't even talk because I'm just so hungry. So I'll probably see you. If I snack, I'll see you because I'm ill. Um, my appetite's gone down. I either get really hungry when I'm ill or I lose my appetite. And today I seem to have lost my appetite. So I probably won't be snacking a great deal today. But if I do, I will let you know. And if not, I'll see you at dinner. It's almost 5 o'clock, it's 4.30 and I feel like the day is just gone. All I've done really is like blogging stuff and some like admin work of my own that I need to do for the blog um, and my YouTube channel, things like that. And the day has just slipped past, I don't know how. So I'm hungry again, so I'm having some dark chocolate that my boyfriend got me for Easter because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, although I'm lactose intolerant, I still do eat chocolate and cake once in a while, though it's not good for me and I really shouldn't. And if you're lactose intolerant and diagnosed as lactose or gluten intolerant, I'm both, you really shouldn't eat gluten or lactose. And it sounds obvious that you shouldn't, but you think it's not an actual allergy, it's fine. But really, if you carry on eating it, you can damage your stomach lining. Um, and if you damage your stomach lining, you can get like Crohn's disease and things like that. Um, and it can develop into something way worse than if you just avoid eating it altogether. So that is what I do. I avoid eating it or I get enzyme tablets usually. Sorry, this is what I eat in a day video, but it's become like a health run. But basically, I take enzymes and if you have these problems, try and find the enzymes too. Or otherwise, get dark chocolate because it's so yummy. Um, and yeah, I've had this since Easter. How I've had it since Easter, I don't know because I'm a little like cookie monster but for chocolate and I just eat chocolate all the time so how I've still got some left uh, it's news to me <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll probably be having dinner in like an hour or two you wouldn't think it because it's so sunny outside but it's actually on the 7 p.m. it is literally quarter to 7 p.m. so we're having a marinated chicken wrap and we marinate it in like a piri piri sauce for 24 hours and I'm going to make like a yoghurt dressing and guacamole to go in it 
and we've got like flatbed rooms. So super excited for dinner and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. down so you can see me because getting this all in eye level is hard because there's a lot. We've got the marinated chicken, we've got the flatbread, we've got the yogurt dressing, avocado, lettuce and we'll just chuck whatever we want in there and I think we might get some chula out as well or what's it called? Cholula, not chula. Cholula sauce out as well, just to top it off. Um, so it's 8 p.m. I want to say and I'm having ice cream on the sofa watching um, what are we watching? Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean we're watching. So just chilling. Um, I'm not going to eat any more today um, after this ice cream. So that is my what I ate today video. I heard that Aaron. I won't be eating any more today. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like these types of videos, click um, the like button and comment down below and let me know. Um, I did kind of eat clean this morning and I'm ending on ice cream so you can tell that I'm feeling much better than I was when I woke up. So <laughs> hopefully next time you'll see me I'll be eating cleaner maybe, probably not. See you again soon, bye! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.